Welcome to the United Hangout then. Well, I think it's about time that we have a catch up with the United Women and who better to do it with as well. We've got Millie. Hi, Millie. Hello, Pete. Hello. And we've got Jackie as well. Hello, Jackie. Hi, guys. Hi. Millie, first of all, um, how long have you not seen each other for? You must be missing each other. Yeah, we are too long now. It's been about how long? Three weeks, two weeks, three weeks I think. Yeah, three weeks already. Yeah. Wow. Jackie, you're missing Millie. A lot. <laughs> I'm, missing it, I'm missing it in the morning a lot. When, when we get to the club and, and I walk into the change room, Millie's like always the first one that goes, good morning, Jax. You know, like, and, and it just wakes me up. Do <laughs> <laughs> so you miss Jackie it. as well, Millie? Yeah, I miss Jax the loads and I'm so jealous because she's got a massive 11 side goal in her garden that, and we're all proper jealous about it. <laughs> all right. Have you been filming it? Have you been sending it to them? No, I was just doing the bin challenge and it was in the background, so then everyone kind of figured it out. But everyone's welcome to come to Belgium and come quarantine with me here. <laughs> what are you doing in Belgium, Jax? My parents, this is where I live. My parents live in Belgium, so they're just across the border. Right. Very yeah. interesting. Well, let's talk about you being in Belgium then. How is life in isolation in Belgium compared to being in England? Um, it's very strict here. I think compared to England, it's very different because um, we're not allowed to leave the house, really. We're, we're allowed to go for a jog um, as long as you stay near, near your house and you're not allowed to cross the border. So my sister, she lives in Holland um, and she's literally 10 minutes away, but I'm not allowed to see her because you're not allowed to cross the border. Um, and just really any, any socializing is not, not okay. So um it's just really it's, it's really just me and my parents so, so i feel a bit like i'm back living at home <laughs> it's a bit of a struggle to be fair. i could not do that me Jax. <laughs> i know well, well Millie, I, you're obviously in manchester aren't you with the girls um, and yeah, who no, are you yeah, who are you living yeah. with so i'm living with toons moll and marth so luckily we're all in isolation together so we're doing all our programs together and we're actually having a really good time. Obviously we're missing <laughs> playing football, but we aren't, we're having a ball. <laughs> Are some of the players around the table with you now, Millie? We've got two <laughs> 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 got uh, Come in the video, come in the video. <laughs> have even more catch up. Come on, there we go. Oh, miss you, Juni. I'm here now. <laughs> How's life been for you both then? Yeah, good actually. Yeah, we've not been bored. We've just been trying to keep busy doing little different challenges and just getting our gym stuff done and our running. But it's been good so far. We've not killed each other yet. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> just making TikTok videos together. Yeah, a lot of TikTok videos. Uh, we'll talk, more to corny. More to we'll corny. talk about the TikTok videos in a minute. Um, Jackie, just tell yeah. us a little bit about sort of an everyday life, what you're doing at the moment in Belgium. Um. Actually, I'm training quite a bit. So training takes up quite a lot of hours of the day, to be fair. I don't know how, how is it with you, Mill? Like, I feel like our program is like four or five hours. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, it takes it, ages. Yeah, it literally takes me forever to finish that. And then I'm just helping my parents out around the house a little bit because they're doing the garden and um, taking up uni, uni work a little bit more than normal and just playing the guitar and just yeah just like regular things like normal things but i feel like i'm quite busy everyone's like doing challenges and stuff and i feel like i don't have the time <laughs> <laughs> so um but i don't know how i get busy during isolation but i, I am actually <laughs> yeah the days go pretty quick don't they i find that as well like yeah, i'm waking up is. in the morning and then I'll, by the time i know it, i'm making dinner and then you go to bed don't you what are you studying for uni then um, I'm in law school, so um, it's been quite slow the last couple of years because uh, because of the football and not living at home. And so I thought I have some months now maybe to pick it up and maybe do like one or two courses. So um, I've been trying to get that to start up again a little bit. But it's, it's quite hard actually because I'm so used to being in training and to being with the girls. And now you're just on your own. You have to do everything by yourself. So it's, it's very different. Yeah, and the fitness programs, um, Millie, what, what do you have to do for the fitness programs? Can you talk us through sort of, and what did you do today for your fitness program? What we did today, so today is one of our hard days. So we got up about half eight, didn't we, twos? Had breakfast, 
went outside we did a bit of speed program and then we had to do conditioning after that so we had to go to the pitch do a bit of conditioning we came back did power upper body lower body and core and then we finished wow and then oh, six no. hours later you're finished yeah six <laughs> hours <later. laughs> just finished now <laughs> <laughs> do you ever do you ever do you ever think like I can't do you know like slacking off because no one's gonna be there to watch you? Do you ever think oh, I'll just take it easy this time? Were you like constantly pushing yourself? I think you've just got to keep pushing yourself. You just got to treat it like you would at training. So at the end of the day, we're we're obviously training to get back for when like in a few weeks. So that's all we know. So we're just trying to get back to keep ourselves fit. Yeah, well, we've got, we can do a little um, bit of a game, really. If Jackie, you said, you know, it takes ages to do some of these um, programs. Millie is there and Toonie's there. So if you want to give them an exercise to do, they can <laughs> demonstrate it for us. So people that are watching this can sort of give us an idea of, uh, of how you do those exercises and then people watching it can do it with you. <laughs> Right, go on, I Jack. Mean, that's a great idea, but only if it doesn't come back to me. Like, I'm <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> i'm wearing well, different kind of clothes um um yeah, yeah well we can do some hamstring britches and like walk <laughs> it you do the like walk in and walk walk out ones yeah they're the hard ones i like, hate give them. Us yeah. an easier one give us an easier one. Oh my god um the squat jumps oh shut yeah. up <laughs> <laughs> them ones. No, I'll them. Them. go on Millie, do some squat jumps what right now yeah <laughs> we'll go in you're on, on the spot should we take you to our home gym yeah show us do us a, give us a bit of a tour okay hang on then follow us it's like a it's like a live vlog going on now <laughs> <laughs> a day in the life we've got our trx, TRX. Nice. what i don't know what you call them TRX. TRX. you do this Oh, look at them go. Nice. Okay. So this is the home gym that we've created. Oh, wow. That's put the sofa look up Look at there. the sofa! <laughs> <laughs> There's loads of room for exercise. Yeah. We had to move for this. <laughs> oh, no. We've, we've sorted all our programs out. Ah, uh, I love that, guys. Got a mirror. Nice. That is so organised. What about you, Jackie? How is the equipment at your home? Have you had to sort of be creative with what you're using or have you got a lot of gym equipment at home? Um, I actually have quite a bit at home. So I have a walk bike and I've got the pitch at home and I've got some gym materials and, um, and I've got some tiny weights, but I just don't have like the, the massive, like the massive weights and the, so I've been doing squats with like, I don't know how to say this. I don't know the English word. Like my dad was cutting down trees. So I've been doing squat with like branches, the trunk, like yeah, like the trunk. Like, trunk. I'll show you. Wait, how would you how would you pull that? Can I show you? Yeah, show us. I think just the, like a tree trunk, isn't it? Yeah. How do I? How do I? Don't know how to turn the camera, but you, oh wow! Whoa! <laughs> whoa. <laughs> I know, right? So I don't know how to turn the camera. You're squatting a tree trunk. <laughs> yeah, literally. And so there's she's a like, beast. The pitch and um a goal oh, that is so sick i've got like um there's like a tennis net there so we play a lot of like football tennis and yeah all these kind of things so yeah i, I managed to keep quite busy actually it's nice are you training with your parents jackie are your mum or your dad getting involved with you my my dad's proper getting involved it's really annoying <laughs> <laughs> Just like, leave me alone let me do it <laughs> I'm literally i'm doing like my power session or something and he's like jackie i've got something to carry like it's good for your weights like come here and then he's made out like four new exercises and i'm like I i've got like a whole plan to do as well like i don't want to do extras like it's fine keeping it going so, yeah <laughs> basically so um yeah yeah it's, it's really nice and, but it's nice to be with my parents for once it's weird because I think it's been like six or seven years that I've been home longer than two weeks. So it's, it's quite like a, a different sort of thing. Yeah, spending some quality time with them. Um, yeah. Millie and, and Ella as well, sort of, because you guys are living together, and, but this is to another level, isn't it? So you are together 24 <laughs> seven. Um, there's four of you. Anyone getting on your nerves yet? Uh, well, everyone's doing it already. Right, usually. <laughs> no, usually <laughs> the most annoying one. So. <laughs> Millie, 
It nearly annoys all three of us. But to be fair, we've not actually argued or anything yet. Not yet. yet. But we spend 24-7 together, so. But the issue is, I get blamed for everything that's not actually me. <laughs> <laughs> so more is actually the instigator, and she don't get blamed for anything. <laughs> Why? What does, what does she blame you for? Everything, P. Honestly, <laughs> anything. Anything. No, we're not allowed to walk through the house because we clean the house in our boots, our trainers, but Millie walks through the house in her boots and puts mud everywhere and then pretends that it wasn't her. So, <laughs> so yeah, yeah it's a long isolation, you know. <laughs> I know yeah, it is. I know. Have, you, have you had to make any like rules or boundaries? It's like at this time I'm going to have alone time. No one can speak to me. I'm going to play on the PlayStation or whatever. <laughs> I think we just know when each of us need a bit of like alone time, don't we? Like yeah. Mill, Mill will go on a PlayStation or whatever it is, and I'll just leave it to. <laughs> but my parents yeah. just don't get that. My parents don't get that at all. Oh. Like, <laughs> When I come back from a jog, like I'm tired, I just want a glass of water and, and a room where I can just, you know, like 10 minutes where I can just relax and not. And my dad walks in and he goes, how was training? How did it go? How is this? How is this? And I'm like, please. I know, I'm getting that. Every time I'm like sat down, it's like someone will come in and do you want to play Scrabble? Should we play Cluedo? Should we play some cards? And it's like, oh my God, we've played so many games. So many games. I'm sort of like up to the top here now. I'm like, we've, we've played everything we could possibly play. And I end up just walking from the one room to the other room and people just walk with me and I'm like, I'm trying to avoid you. Like, <laughs> <leave> me alone. <laughs> how have you guys, so Jackie, and how have you been keeping up sort of with the players and things? Do you FaceTime each other every day? Do you have a casual hangout thing? We, we have a, like a call with the whole team uh, every Tuesday and Friday, I think. So yeah. um, we see each other quite a bit and we've got challenges and um, so we've got loads of things that we do to like stay connected and to, to keep up with each other and um, I think that's going quite well actually. I feel like we do kind of keep track of each other. Yeah, you guys are, are nailing it. We they, won, they won the, the challenge. challenge um, which in my opinion is not fair because there's, there's four of them and it's just me trying to cook something. It's, it's really you made, different. You made two dishes, Jack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was the challenge? What did you have to do? So basically, right, every Friday, <laughs> is it Friday? Yeah, yeah food, every Foodtastic Friday. Foodtastic Fridays. So every yeah. Friday we get set a challenge to cook a, a dish from a different country. So last week was Spain. Spain. Yeah. So we cooked a paella and churros. Oh, nice. And then one matter said that ours was the best, so we won. So we got 10 points. But then everyone yeah, was wow. like, because there was four of us, but... Two of us made one dish, two of us made the other, so it's fair, yeah. <laughs> have they not asked, have, is the country not Holland yet? Because Holland, we have such nice food, don't we, Jackie, in we Holland? We have such nice food. I would win that. I would nail that. <laughs> I hope you'd yeah. win. <laughs> have you, Jackie, I, I have you introduced... Think, I don't actually think I would win that, to be fair. I can't cook anything. It's so <laughs> American. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to get your parents to do it and then pretend you did it. Oh, no, I'm, I'm trying. Every time mum goes for groceries, I'm like, it's Greek week, you need to bring some Greek food. And she's like, leave me alone, I've already decided what we're going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> no more food. Well, what else have you been doing? Because Jackie, you said you've been um, learning playing the guitar as well. Is that another skill that sort of you're picking up doing? Um, I'm not really good yet. I, I, I can just do like bits and pieces. But Mill and I actually started off together to play the guitar a little bit. But I feel like I've continued doing it where Millie's kind of... Like, I've been going in this direction where Millie's kind of gone like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of my attention span didn't last for that long. Have you got a guitar, <laughs> Millie? Yeah, I yeah, have. I got one for my birthday, but I don't play it. <laughs> yeah, oh, we could have had, like, a duet, a like guitar it. duet. No, it's just collecting dust at the moment. We started off quite well, actually. And I, I, I thought of some, like, quartz and everything, and it went quite well. well. But then she had a little breakdown and didn't do it, do it anymore. <laughs> oh, Millie. Well, there was someone asked what would, the, what would the Manchester United women's band be? So obviously, Jack would be playing the guitar. What would you be on the vocals, Millie? I'd be 100%. on the vocals, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do, Ella? Oh, what would I do? To, triangle? Triangle. Triangle. Or, or, or drums or, or something. Drums. She'd be on the maracas, yeah. yeah. 
The maracas, <laughs> I like it. Millie's actually got a good voice, you know. She's a good singer. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to give us a song now? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> You're gone shy. <laughs> You could sing one of your own chants. <laughs> Me and Tiffany, I've actually done a duet. Oh? <clears throat> Why have you Because. Go on. Yeah, we got bored, so we just did a bit of karaoke, didn't we? And we dressed up, took it very far, and we did... Very um, far. Like, very, Sandy very far. Sandy and Danny. Sa yeah, Sandy and Danny. Greece. What was that? Um, summer Loving. Yeah, Summer Loving. Yeah. Go on then, you were just about to sing it, Millie. <laughs> no, I was just, just getting the tune so you know the name. <laughs> uh, we, Did no one record it? Video. It was, it yeah, was a video. Yeah, we recorded it, it great. it's never ever leave in the group chat. How have you guys been keeping up with your coaches and, and Casey especially? Have you been keeping up with her every day? Is she checking in on you? Yeah, so they've all been checking in on us. And like Jack said, we've had the calls twice a week. And obviously they're just there for us if, if ever we need them. Um, so yeah, they've been keeping in contact with us and it's been nice. Yeah, and Jackie, obviously, because you're not even in, in the country, have they sort of been keeping up with you and with your programmes and things? And how do you check in with them to say that you've done it? How does that work? Yeah, they, they check in every day a little bit and check in with it on everything. Like if you're doing well, if the training's going well, if you can do certain things or if you can't do them. So I feel like the contact is like every day and... Um, we just send in at night, don't we? Like what we've done from the schedule and which things we can do that day. Or, um, but basically everything that we we do gets put in a group so everyone can keep track of what everyone's doing. And uh, they're very like attentive, I think. So they give a ring every once in a while and, and ask how you're doing, if the family's okay. Um, so yeah, it's it's really good. I feel like I feel like we're missing each other, seeing each other, but we talk constantly. So it's not like they're not there or anything. Yeah, and how important is it mentally as well to keep up conversations with people and to keep checking in on how they're doing? Yeah, it's well think, important. Go on, John. Yeah. No, I think it's just like if if because we're still talking, it feels like we're not that far away. So otherwise, it's, I, you know, you, you just miss the team too much. And I miss hanging out though, like in person and just walking in a changing room in the morning and, and seeing everyone happy. And um, but it's a it's a good way to to make sure everyone's okay really yeah. yeah and we we've tried staying to routine so like getting up at normal time and um, trying to finish our sessions like we would at normal training session eating at normal time so we that's really helped us hasn't it yeah yeah and what would you what sort of tips would you give to um the fans watching this sort of staying fit at home and how you can get creative with things at home and you know still having fun whilst you know being self-isolated um well you, you guys are still allowed to go outside aren't you so i i just say like go for a little jog and i think my time outside is like the time where i get a bit of fresh air and it does like it's really good for you to just get some fresh air as well so uh even though stay inside and stay at home but also find some time to to go outside to just have a bit of a breather so that you, you're not inside the whole day and then as well, like there's a lot of stuff in your house that you don't realize you can use for like little gym exercises and stuff. So I sometimes use the chair um, to do single squats and stuff like that. So just really uh, be creative with your furniture to, to make it work really. <laughs> and I yeah, think I mean, I've seen that is really good. Just keep a schedule so you don't, I, I try to do that as well. Just wake up at normal time so you don't get too, um placement or just lazy really obviously doing like you said you're doing your weekly um cooking has anyone been baking because obviously lizzie arnott bakes doesn't she and she's really good at baking um, yeah. have, has anyone sort of tried to beat her at that you know because this is now the chance to sort of get good isn't it <laughs> uh, me not yeah. i i suck at everything in the kitchen i try to stay away <laughs> as far as possible <laughs> we've all been um doing a bit of baking um me Tooney, Moll and Marv we've been cooking we've been trying to follow like a healthy recipe kind of guide thing that we got given from the club so we've been trying to cook like banana breads healthy cookies protein cookies things like that what have you guys missed the most um I guess about each other while social distancing and not being able to see each other 
um, just being around all the girls, to be honest, like the, the banter that you have, you just miss the little things. Like even Casey put a message in the group chat the other day saying, I miss being in the, on the pitch with you. And it's, it's like the feeling's mutual. Like everyone feels the same way. We just want to get back on the grass and play football with your mates. Yeah. I even miss Tunya getting angry on the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't miss that. <laughs> well, obviously, we don't know what's going to happen with the, the season either because everything's still up in the air. Um, I mean, how disappointed would it be, though, if it was cancelled? Because, obviously, you've had a couple of games delayed or postponed, and so there is quite a lot to still catch up on. Um, and like we said, we don't know what's going to happen. You know, the best scenario would be to finish the season as well. But how disappointed would it be if it got cancelled? I think that'd be really disappointing, to be fair. You kind of just want to finish it as well before you go into the new season because it, it, it just feels unfinished as well. And we had some good games coming up um, in the next following weeks. So it's really, it's just really sad we're not playing at the moment. And um, But obviously the circumstances are what they are. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm very curious how, how it's going to go. But I think no one can really tell what's going to happen because no one really knows. So we're all just, you know, we're, we're just adapting to what we get. So um, we keep fit and then we'll see what happens. So uh, just before we finish as well, um, from both, from all three of you, actually. So what, what do you want to say to the fans um, before, you know, we finish this little hangout that we've had? Um, it's been so nice catching up with all of you. What would you like to say to the fans? Millie, you want to go first? Yeah, I will. I'd say... Make sure you're staying at home, stay safe and just keep positive because that's the most important thing. Keep smiling and wash your hands. Wash your hands. <laughs> see you again soon. Yes. Yeah, we all miss you guys. And um, I think the most important thing for everyone now is just to stay safe. So take care of each other and, and, and look after each other. Cool. Well, thank you so much, guys. Um, we we'll look forward to seeing your TikToks as well, whatever you've got in, in store for us. Um, and we will yes, hang out soon, I'm sure. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Bye.